Hi everyone, I hope this video finds you well. And today we are going to talk about snapshots on Endeavor OS. Now Endeavor OS released a new ISO a few days ago and I'm gonna do a separate video about that. But in this specific video, I'm going to show you how you can install time shift on Endeavor OS using the ButterFS file system and basically taking snapshots and snapshots during system updates. So without too much talking, let's jump into the video. So this is a default installation of uh, Endeavor OS Atlantis, which just came out a few days ago. And I will leave a link in the video description below to the website of Endeavor OS where you can download the ISO. Now Endeavor OS has become very popular. As you probably already know, it's an Arch based distribution. And in this video here, I've installed a fresh copy of Endeavor OS GNOME, which is installing actually GNOME 41.2. But what I'm going to show you in this video, it's going to work whether you're choosing GNOME or any other desktop environment. Now, the important thing here is that when you install the Endeavor OS, you use the ButterFS file system. Now, let me pull up the terminal here and let me go full screen so that you can see better. So if I increase the font sizes. So let me type in lsblk because I want to show you here the layout of the disk. Now, when I installed here Endeavor OS, I chose actually the ButterFS file system and a swap file. And uh, you can see here by default, these are the sub volumes that were created. Now we can list the sub volumes here if we use the ButterFS sub vol list command, which I already run before here. So you can pause the video here if you want to mark down this command here. So ButterFS sub vol list and then the slash is going to show you all the sub volumes in the system. So when I hit enter here, I need to authenticate because I'm using sudo. And as you can see here, we have several sub volumes. So we have the root sub volume, home, cache, log, and swap, which is actually the swap file. Now, if I want to see the fstab file here, I can use the cat command. cat etc slash fstab is going to show you the fstab file here for the system. Let me make this a little smaller so that we can see the options here on the right side of the display. You can see here we have the default options on how Endeavor OS installs. We have no A time, auto defrag and compression is ZSTD. Now there are some other options which are not present here. For example, space cache. Nevertheless, it's already a good set of options that we have here. So having the battery fast file system here, it's a very nice if you want to take also snapshots. Now by default, actually Endeavor OS does not come installed with uh, time shift, but you can install it using the EA helper, which is already pre-installed in Endeavor OS. So when you type in here EA in the terminal, it's going to check for updates for the system and also for packages on the AUR. Right now there is just one here. We just came out probably a few minutes ago because the install is pretty fresh. So I'm just going to install it very quickly here. And so when you are up to date and you run yay again, you will see nothing. Basically, there is nothing to do. But time shift is available in the AUR. So we can install it with yay. So we can type in here yay and then time shift and then hit enter. And you're going to have to basically choose here one of the options. Now you can see we have several here. The time shift bin is basically the binary for time shift. It's marked out of date, so I'm not going to install it for now. And then we have time shift auto snap. So this is basically a time shift auto snapshot script, which runs before package upgrade using the Pacman hook. So what this basically does, it's to create a snapshot every time the system has updates. It's not going to create a snapshot when you are installing new packages. For that, you will need to create manual snapshots. But if you're having updates in your system, it's going to take a snapshot before the update. So I'm going to install actually both by typing in one and two separated by the comma and then hit enter. Now it's asking us whether we want to remove the make dependencies after install. This is really up to you. In my case, I'm going to say yes, just to clean up the packages that might not be any more used afterwards. Now differences to show here, I don't need them. So I'm just typing no and then hit enter. And now I can proceed with the installation of the dependencies and then we are going to build the packages and install them. So depending also on your computer and how fast it is, it's going to take maybe some time, especially time shift. It's quite a big binary to build. So I'm going to pause the video here, guys, and I'll be back with you when it's done. 
So the packages have been installed and I noticed during the installation of TimeShift that there was a warning or better said a notice that you could install also the grab butterfs package in order to have snapshots appearing on the grab bootloader. Now this is not strictly necessary because TimeShift has anyway the option to restore snapshots so it's really up to you but I'm going to install it here nevertheless for demonstration purpose. So I'm going to type in here sudo pacman dash s and then grab dash badrefs and then hit enter and I'm going to proceed with the installation. Now it's going to rebuild here the initramfs and that means basically every time there is an update on the system the snapshot is going to appear also in the grab bootloader. Now grab is not going to show you snapshots that you took manually in timeshift unless you rerun the grab configuration file. I'm going to show you this afterwards. So now we have the packages installed. Let's close the terminal here and let's pull up TimeShift. So we need to authenticate. So let's type in the password and we need to go through the setup here. So the file system is ButterFS. Now the disk, this is the only disk I have and this is actually the disk where ButterFS is. So I'm going to select it and click next. And this is the schedule. So the schedule right now it's fine. I'm going to keep the defaults here, but you can change of course as needed. Now enable ButterFS queue groups, this is recommended, so I'm going to leave it so. I'm not going to back up the home directories and also here a word of caution, TimeShift is actually meant to back up system files. We can click next and the setup is now complete, so we can click finish. So you can see here we have TimeShift is active, we don't have any snapshots and this is the space available. So if I take a snapshot now by clicking create, it's going to take basically a photo, an instant photo of the system right now. So I can close this up and I can open up again the terminal and let me again go full screen here and increase the font size and let's for example install something. Let's type in here sudo pacman-s and let's install chromium which is not installed by default here in Endeavor OS. So we need to authenticate and let's install the package. It's going to take a second to do this but you can see here we have basically nothing saying that a snapshot was created or something similar. And that's because the auto snap feature, as I said before, is going to create snapshots only when you are updating the system and there are updates for your system. But when you are installing something, if you want to have a snapshot, then you will have to take it manually. And if you want to have those snapshots appearing up in grub, you will have to run the grub configuration command again here in the terminal. So for example, if I type in now sudo and then grub, dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grab slash grab dot cfg you will see we will have a line where it's going to tell us that a snapshot has been added to the grab bootloader you can see it down here now you can of course reboot the machine and boot into that snapshot if you want but that snapshot is going to be read only so it's up to you as i said before it's not really necessary to install grab butterfs but if you want to do this this is how you can do it now let's reboot once the machine i just want to show you there how it looks like it's going to take a moment to do that so here you can see we have endeavor os this is the grab bootloader and we have here a new option endeavor os snapshots if we hit enter here we'll have the snapshot I created before I installed Chromium. So if I hit enter here, we will have two images. One is the fallback and one is the Linux image, which is the usual image you would boot in. Now you can boot from here. And if you do so, TimeShift will tell you that you can actually restore the snapshot if you click the restore option in TimeShift. So I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to go back here and go back to Endeavor OS and hit the first option here to start the system normally. And let me enter my password here. Going to go back in GNOME. And so let's boot up again time shift one more time and hit my password here. And we have the snapshot that we created before we installed Chromium. So what we can do here, we can actually click the snapshot and click restore. So we have a warning here, what will be restored on which mount point, which is fine. So we can click next and the restore is completed. Now restores of volumes will become active after system is restarted. So let's go ahead and check that out. So let's close this, close time shift and reboot our machine one more time. So you can see here we have back to square one. We don't have anymore the snapshot menu here because we restored this before it was created. And let's boot up the machine here and we shouldn't have Chromium as well. So let's enter the password here. And let me search for Chromium 
and you can see we don't have it. So we are back basically to the installation we had before we installed Chromium. So let's here hit one more time, time shift. And these are the snapshots we have in our time shift here. So we have the one I created manually, and then we have the one which was created before restoring the previous snapshot. So if you don't need those snapshots now anymore, you can delete them if you want to, of course. You can also browse them. I have also a video on time shift that you can check out on the channel if you want more information about time shift. But it's a very simple utility and here in Endeavor OS it's pretty simple to integrate it. Other than that, I'm really enjoying Endeavor OS here, the new ISO. I will do another video for Endeavor OS new ISO here. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any question about this video, let me know in the comments below. So that's it guys, it's pretty simple to install TimeShift on Endeavor OS. If you have any question, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. I wish you a great day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.